It's your boy DJ Marcellus Doe. We here in North Carolina G. We got this school event today. What is up guys? It is DJ Rick Webb and today we're doing the first ever school dance in North Carolina for Fusion Sound and Lighting. We got Oscar, we got Kaylin, we got me, and we got a special guest coming from South Carolina that's gonna be here soon, a YouTube uh, somewhat of a celebrity. We got the trailer loaded up. As you guys saw in the last video, I finally got around to doing trailer mods and got tie down points, so that's awesome. We're going over to Western Guilford High School. We're gonna get set up. It is like 10.30 in the morning, so we're gonna get an early set up that way we can come back, chill, and relax before the gig. See you guys there. Just wanted to show you guys the trailer. We just got here, um, but check out the ratchet straps, hold everything together. It makes things look a lot cleaner in this trailer. So we got everything loaded in. And uh, just like the last high school dance, we're gonna do kind of like a little walkthrough step-by-step -step on our setup and our plan. Welcome to Western Guilford High School's small gym. We are setting up now. I was informed, like I said, that we only have roughly 150 kids coming. I don't know what to think of that, but I really don't care. As you can see right now, we got Kaylin shaking his booty and we got plenty of gear here, lots of gear. So this is a little bit, um, for you new guys, it's probably very overwhelming to look at but it's pretty simple, and Kaylin could probably testify to this. It's pretty simple what we're doing. The idea is to keep everything aligned in the center like we always do these gigs. So center of the, of the ceiling, center of the basketball hoop, center of this. And we're pulling the stage out further to create a smaller environment. They're also doing the same thing with tables to try and create a more confined space, a more intimate space so it doesn't feel overwhelming when this 150 kids show up that it looks like a space for 300, 400 people. Right here we have our stage decks. I have four by four stage decks. As you can see, we're basically setting them up. We're gonna lock them all together here as soon as Oscar gets back with the toolkit. These are very simple. These just pop down on top of these um, collapsible stands. They're kind of like tripods almost. And then uh, there's bolts inside of here that you turn and these bolts lock down the stage. A lot of you guys have asked questions on the stage. This is actually made by Pro X, but this is a old U stage that I bought off of Chris, DJ Associates up in Ohio. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna set the stage up, get it all locked in together, and then we're gonna move on to our trussing, which we're gonna be using the Dura Truss DT 3900Ls, and we're gonna be doing 18 feet of trussing. So we got two, two and a half meter sections. We're gonna set these up on either side. We're gonna lock our trussing together and set it up and then we're gonna move on to light also if you guys notice we got the LD systems Maui 5 go as our music because this thing is battery powered and we're running this thing completely battery powered to give us some music while we're setting up right Kalen we we jamming out so uh, we're gonna move on to keep starting our setup and moving along we should be able to get this done pretty quick and Oscar is here at the toolkit All right, so as you can see, the team has assembled our trussing rig. Next step is to basically get lighting. Three hours later. My apologies, I have not updated you guys, and we're pretty much set up. So we got all the lighting hooked up, we did all the cabling, we raised it up. I did forget to bring PARs for the outside, um, just like two or three inches. We got the subarray hooked up, we got the lighting pretty much completely hooked up, the speakers are mostly hooked up. We're doing the lighting station a little bit different. Kalen suggested that we do it back here, and uh, we'll do the audio up there like normal. Got all of our power central right here, we got three circuits coming in here and we're dividing it up equally. So now we're gonna hook up the SZ, and well the SZ Pro X case, and uh, go with that. All right, people, people. Hey. Look at me looking good. So we just got finished setting up. Um, everything sounded good. I didn't break Ricky subs I've been borrowing, so that's a good thing. So yeah, this is the setup, everybody. All right, so I don't know what Kaylin told you already, but yeah. we can't do a complete sound check. They actually have classes going on right across the hall. Uh, we did turn the haze on for a second just to kind of look at the movers, and besides that, Everything, everything's set up. The only thing that we're missing is one part in each side of the truss, which we will get later on when we come back, and that's, we'll just lower it down, hook those up, and we'll be good to go. Other than that, speakers are all set up. We're running on three circuits, we're all set. Haze, movers, 
SZ case. We're looking good. I think we're good to go. We're basically gonna power everything down and get out of here. When we get back for the gig, I'll do a full equipment walkthrough. Anyways guys, see you guys when we get back from the gig. Actually, see you guys when we meet our special guest from South Carolina. Two hours later. Got a packed house today. Full of yeah, I got my boy from Ohio. I got all the dude from Hickory. Oh, Who's this clown? Oh my god. Oh, it's all it's all <laughs> faded. So as you saw there, DJ J Book came to Greensboro, North Carolina, which is where I live. He's actually just down in South Carolina, about three hours away, two and a half, three hours away, I think. But this is a common thing that happens when I have visitors. I don't film anything. So there isn't really any footage, but like Jay showed up. We were hanging out for a long time. We all went out to dinner and uh, then we literally got back and it was time to go out to the gig. So, and we didn't really film anything in between. I extremely apologize. If you guys do not know DJ J Book, he's also a gig logger on this channel and he's by far probably one of my favorite ones right now because he's really active. He posts a lot of gig logs and he is a full-time mobile DJ. So if you want to go check out his channel, it's linked in the description down below. It's also linked right there. Anyways, let's get back to the gig. All right guys, if you cannot tell, DJ J Book is in town and we're heading out to the gig right now. We've had a long amount of time that we've had conversation, discussion, and all kinds of other stuff. So we're heading out to the gig now. Uh, and uh, see you guys when we get there. We out here. We out here. We out here. You feel me? We out here. You think that's worth six hundred dollars? What? All blacked out? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Just five hundred. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah. 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 Rolling deep. <laughs> and the team. They're like, wait. What? <laughs> Remember when I finished setup and I said I was going to do a complete equipment walkthrough at this gig? Well, I never did it. So I'm going to have my editor Joe right now put up a picture of the full setup and I'm going to tell you what all is in it. Starting on sound, we have two JBL VRX 918s. We have two JBL PRX 715 XLF subs, making four subs up front. We were running two JBL SRX 815Ps as our tops on a 100 hertz crossover, basically meaning they were on high pass only. We were going to also use PRX 712s, but because it was only 150 kids, I was expecting maybe up to 300 or 400. This school is really big and possibly could bring a lot of kids, but this was the first time that they actually did this twerp dance. Um, so when you do a new dance and it's not a prom or a homecoming, normally it's really hard to get a good turnout. Trusting staging, you guys already saw we're using four 4x4 decks from Pro X. All of this is linked in the description down below. We're using the ADJ Pro Event Table. We are using two Duratrust DT 3900L crank stands. We're using two two and a half meter Global Trust trussings to make 18 foot span up top. Lighting wise, we got four ADJ InnoSpot Pros, two Chave Wash FX2s, and three ADJ Mega Hex Pars. Two doing the truss warming and one lighting up the ADJ event table. Then sound wise, we're rocking my Pioneer DDJ SZ case like normal and on the lighting side, we are running Chave Show Express. Anyways, now we're gonna jump right back into the gig as I am doing my pre-mixing. I apologize, we really just did not have time. I literally had like 15 minutes to do sound check and barely 15 minutes and then they opened the doors and we had to start DJing, so sorry. But like I said, everything is listed in the description down below and also this setup is like literally identical to the one that we used at Meadowbrook High School for homecoming season. So go check that out. Yo, 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 what is up? What's that? Yo, for high school, make some noise real quick, make some noise. What is up, my name is DJ Requiem on behalf of Fusion Sound and Lighting. We're about to jam out here. If you guys want to get up here around the stage, clown around, let's have some fun, let's have a party. You can just stand on these subs if you want to. But let's kick it up and let's have some fun. Let's get it going. Oh,
Did I mention that DDJ Book filmed a complete gig log from his aspect of the whole entire gig? So if you want to go check it out, be sure to go check out DJJ Book's page and also give him a subscribe. He literally only has like 2,000 subscribers and the dude is busting out content. Go give him a subscribe. Anyways, back to the gig. What's up guys, we're back at the crib, completely done, not unloading the trailer till tomorrow. I'm tired, tired. We're all tired. We're all tired, Jay's tired. So, everyone's gonna give their opinion on the gig. I think it was pretty dope. I think the gig was cool, you know, it was uh, only 150 kids, but the kids were interactive with us. Man, it was lit. People had fun, for sure. We got a lot of fun. Oscar just seems so fake every time he says it. Oscar, Oscar, give me that. This is script. Oscar, it was lit. You had fun. Oscar, Oscar looks like that dude selling that product on paper. Dealers. This thing is so amazing. <laughs> DJ J Book, what'd you think? Hey man, that was awesome, man. Great job tonight. Great light setup. Man, it was dope. I'm glad to be here. Made it easy to take down. These guys do an awesome job here, man. Awesome. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go let Jay Book end the video for us. You guys know what we do, man. If you don't know, now you know. I can't go through this again. Keep the record spinning. Peace. Peace.